Hello, how to solve for a in this equation a to the power of 3 plus a square is equal to 150. And here we have a to the power of 3 plus a square, then minus 150 is equal to 0. 150 is equal to 125 plus 25. And this is a to the power of 3 plus a square minus 125 plus 25 is equal to 0. a to the power of 3 plus a square minus 125 minus 25 is equal to zero. Now, minus 125 is equal to minus five to the power of three. Also, minus 25 is the same thing as minus five square. Then this is a to the power of three plus a square minus five to the power of 3 minus 5 square is equal to 0. Let's compare this. We have a to the power of 3 minus 5 to the power of 3 plus this a square minus this 5 square is equal to 0. Take note of this that if you have s raised to the power 3 minus y to the power of 3, this is equal to s minus y bracket s square plus s y plus y square. And this is s square plus s y plus y square. And if you have s square minus y square. This is equal to s plus y bracket s minus y. Then from the equation above, s is equal to a and then y is equal to 5. Let's substitute. We have a minus 5 bracket a square plus 5a plus 5 square then plus this a minus 5 bracket a plus 5 everything is equal to 0 then if you look at this a minus 5 is common let's bring it out we have a minus 5 bracket then a square plus 5a plus 5 square plus a plus 5 equal to 0. Then this is a minus 5 bracket a square plus 5a plus 5 squared, this is 25, plus a plus 5 equal to 0. We have a minus 5 bracket a squared plus 5a plus a, that is 6a plus 25 plus 5, that is 30, equal to 0. Now from here, there are two cases here. The first case is a minus 5 is equal to 0. And the second case is a square plus 6a plus 30 is equal to 0. And from the first case here, a is equal to 5. Let's call this a1. Also, from the second case, we can solve this using quadratic general formula. 
And our quadratic general formula in this case is giving us a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, c is equal to 30. A is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of C square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 30 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. A is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of C squared, that is 36, minus 4 times 1 times 30, that is 120, divided by 2. Then A is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 120, that is minus 84, over 2. A is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of minus 84 is 84 multiplied by minus 1 over 2. But root of minus 1 is equal to I. Then a is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 84i over 2. Then A is equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by 21i over 2. Then A is equal to minus 6 plus or minus 2 root 21i over 2. Now a is equal to minus 6 over 2 plus or minus 2 over 2 root 21i. 2 here 1, 2 here 3, 2 here 1, 3 here 1. Then a is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 21i. Therefore, A2 is equal to minus 3 plus square root of 21i. Or A3 is equal to minus 3 minus square root of 21 I and our final answers are a1 is equal to 5 a2 is equal to minus 3 plus root 21i then a3 is equal to minus 3 minus root 21i we can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong now in order to check we have two complex solution and one real solution so we can check using this real solution from the given equation a raised to power 3 plus a square is equal to 150 I want to check when a is 5 we have 5 to the power of 3 plus 5 square must be equal to 150 and 5 raised to power 3 this is 125 plus 5 square is 25 must be equal to 150 then 125 plus 25 that is 150 is equal to 150 which satisfies the given equation at a equal to 5 i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye